We are rolling into the second day of our journey and we are going with Jesus to a marriage supper in Cana of Galilee. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Jesus said to her, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were set there six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. And when the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, he did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew. And the master of the feast called the bridegroom and he said to him, every man at the beginning sets out the good wine. And when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior. You have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. This is the great story of turning water into wine that everyone that's ever heard the gospel has heard about. One of the things we may not notice is the plain statement that this was the first miracle that Jesus had done. And yet when his mother Mary approached him and told him about the need, she had perfect confidence that he would be able to do something special. That's pretty significant. He had never done anything like this before. He had never performed a miracle until now. And when confronted with this challenge, his first response was, what is your concern? have to do with me but Mary gave him a nudge and said to the servants whatever he tells you to do you do it it's pretty obvious at this time Jesus had just begun his ministry publicly he had just begun teaching the word historically the response of the people had not been too significant yet but somehow there was an inner witness with his mother and she knew that it was time Jesus himself was not so certain. And he said, what has your concern to do with me? But when Mary pushed the issue and told the servants, whatever he says to you, you do it. Jesus told the servants, we'll fill the water pots with water. And we don't see Jesus praying. We don't see Jesus making any kind of a movement over the water or doing anything distinctive laying his hands on the pots, just gave the command, fill the water pots with water. And when they did, Jesus said, let the master of the feast take the, taste that. They took the water that had been made wine and gave it to the master of the feast. And when he tasted it, the miracle had happened. Well, this is what we find ourselves uh, doing today. We are pressing for the supernatural. We are expecting to do more. We're expecting to be more. That's why we're separating right now for these 21 days of consecration. I don't know what the Lord will lead you to do, but you're going to see angels descending and ascending upon the Son of Man. And you're gonna do works that you have done, that you have never done before, in fact, maybe things you never thought of, God is going to accomplish through your life. Continue with us. We're in the second day, 19 more days to go. God's going to lead us to something new.